Hello my soccer universe to finally the 23-24 Europa League jersey review and this year since we're doing it uh, ahead of the Christmas break we're looking at all the teams that are present in the group stage which I'm very excited about but yeah I'm sorry I wanted to actually do this a month earlier however life I really could not find the time this type of videos are a little bit more work than other videos that I'm publishing so I had to postpone it now we are in December, just ahead of the last match day that I'm shooting this. I'm going to split this review into four videos uh, with two groups in each video. Uh, basically, we'll have first video group A, group B, then C, D, E, F uh, is part three and G, H is part four. Within each video, we go group by group and within each group, I'll sort the teams sort of alphabetically. If you would like all the pictures that you see in these videos are taken from um, football kit archive a website that I can warmly recommend and all the jerseys are rated from 1 to 10 a little caveat also uh, there are some teams in there mostly Eastern European former Soviet Union teams that I did not get either the best pictures but also not the full um the full kit overview so i might skip there a little bit so uh have that in mind as well and leave a comment below if you have a little bit more accurate information and in part one we'll start with group a with tsc bachka topola from serbia who are um equipped by capelli um rather rare sponsor one has to say and i actually say i honestly do not know much about how bach Topola typically play however i have, have to say i given that the colors of uh club colors are blue and white i really like this home jersey there's a little bit of wavy pattern with the uh golden in there i wonder if the capelli squares could have been golden as well but i have to say it's a really really good looking uh pleasing jersey i would assume this is the league jer jersey and there are a few less the mol sponsor i don't think will be there in the europa league that's actually a winner i'm gonna start with start high with eight stars and the away jersey is the same thing in white i actually um like that here the squares are actually um matching the color quite nicely so it's also a pretty nice one but i never like white and gold unless it's real madrid as much as i like blue and gold it seems to be uh, also that these are 110 year anniversary jerseys but it's also a pretty decent effort i'm gonna go seven right here and then we move already to germany to freiburg another nike offering another one that leaves me head scratching i mean the last one was this weird black and white uh red and white striping now we have red and mostly white with kind of broken glass effect and then a sponsor that kind of yeah i mean it fits in there but doesn't really quite as well because it breaks up uh the pattern this is a wild jersey and i have been wanting a, a red and white freiburg jersey for quite a while they're really doing well at the moment but with this jersey again not doing it for me it's a three star it's just too much contrast right there uh, the away jersey in black and gray does it much much better similar to the one up there which this is a much more class jer uh, jersey than this one but um, the contrast is not so uh, in your face and I actually think the gray and the black complement itself quite well in addition the sponsor just fits nicely over this one we can still discuss the pattern i am not so sold on, on it but overall this is a much much better jer uh, jersey and i would go with six stars here and then potentially the best but also the most boring one is the third jersey which is just white with the club's logo on there so yeah not very exciting overall i think i'm gonna go four here because it's just disappointing in a way without it being a bad jersey per se but yeah, Freiburg could do a little bit better. Moving over to Greece, Olympiakos. 
Again, another nice Adidas effort, uh, Raglan sleeves, red and white stripes. Uh, the sponsor, this is the league sponsor um, in international games. They have a slightly different one because, you know, of betting bands and whatsoever. Uh, but overall, I have to, have to say this is a relatively decent effort. The, the sleeves and nose stripe is kind of offset by the Adidas stripes on the shoulders. On the other side, I think it would look even better if uh, it was fully striped, but I guess that would be too much striping as well. But I think it's a strong eight star effort, I, I would say. Uh, Olympiakos uh, looking good there. The away jersey, yeah, this is this patterned Adidas template. Um, I actually don't mind it. I actually even think that the red on it is nice maybe maybe just maybe red adidas stripes uh, to add but i think it it's decent enough there the pen is maybe a little bit too pixelated i think i would like it a little bit more so really like for the bachka topola uh here it's very clear that this is a dot print that maybe takes it down a little bit so uh but i still think it's overall quite pleasing so gonna go six stars here even um but then you lose me on the third one that is just uh puked paella or uh, <laughs> some other things that came out of me at one point. Uh, it's just the gray, the orangey, the blacky. It is way, way too wild. Um, I'm gonna go the same route as with the Freiburg home, that this is just a three stars. Which goes then, leaves us with the top team of this group, which is West Ham. Where Umbro delivered a very classy, Traditional West Ham look. Maybe the one thing that's missing from being totally traditional that the color probably could also be like this one here uh, in light blue. But I really like that the sleeves are just cut off like this. Uh, we have the nice sleeve cuffs also in the maroon color. And then there's a pattern on there, which is of course bubbles. Yes, we're blowing bubbles. Uh, is the West Ham uh, song. So I guess it makes sense. It makes a little bit, uh, diff give, gives the whole thing a slightly different feel. Uh, again, I think in Europe when there is a betting band that they played in a plain uh, jersey, which I think is also looking quite nice. There's nothing bad with this jersey per se, so I'm gonna give it seven. Although I think it could use a little bit more more character, as I said, with the sleeve. The away jersey would look really, really, really cool, uh, and. Um, the logo is kind of really whited out. It's not as gray as or, or so. It would look real class if the sponsor also would follow suit and be kind of be more decent. This way, it looks like a bad way t-shirt. That's, I think, my biggest gripe with this one. Because other than that, I think if you leave this all white, I have a white art art, art jersey with those um, uh, neck with, with this neckline and those sleeve cuffs. This would look absolute class. This would be one a real, real good jersey. But I'm having a really hard time gray gray this. Without the sponsor, we're looking eight and nine here. But the sponsor really takes it down a little bit. I don't wanna be too critical in a way. I think it's still seven stars because they had a nice idea. But you see uh, what my problem is with that one. The third jersey though doesn't do it anything for me i mean yes we have a gradient pattern with the diamonds there um the light blue is from west west Ham's main colors but the dark blue i think it could be darker i probably would have preferred if this was black but yeah um i find it a little bit boring untypically so five stars let's move to the hipsters group <laughs> which is group b and we'll start with probably the, one of the most boring jerseys in there, which is the Ike home jersey. After having an absolute wild, not good looking jersey where they won the Greek championship with, uh, they have now this more traditional color. I mean, just yellow with a black uh, collar. That I think is fine. The sponsor in the league does not really fit it. Uh, let's be honest. I think in Europe they have just the blue, which is the old blue, blue, blue box with uh, SOS Children's Villages Greece, which is also uh, not much better. It's an average run of the middle jer uh, jersey. I would say five stars. Um, I really long for the arc jerseys of the 90s in a way. The away jersey, black. Just black. Yes, there's the yellow swoosh. Nice. The crest goes out. The sponsor fits like a sore thumb. Uh, doesn't do much for, for, for me. 
Um, I'm sorry, uh, even that the uh, shoulders then are a little bit lighter, so kind of going into dark gray. Um, four. Four. And I think we're gonna give the same grade for the orange one because there's really not much more happening there, except that it might actually be, uh, you know, not the proper color. But I wanna give this four. I have, I have to say, when I saw the Ike jerseys, I was really uh, disappointed, to be honest. Let's go to Ajax. I'm not gonna make much comment on their current form, but I have have to say when I saw this jersey, yes, this is the Adidas template. They try to put Ajax on it. It has the ugly stains on the back that I don't like the patches. But while I think it looks very much Ajax, I would not have done the side striping. This is not very Ajax. And I also find that the center stripe is a l quite too wide. This does not it does not look quite Ajax. I really like the uh, neck uh, pattern and the sleeve cuffs. This is really nicely done, but I think it's a little bit too much over. Everything centered also. It reminds me of classic Ajax, but it's just too too uh, too wide. And then I actually the pattern, the striping within the big stripe is all right, but it leaves me wanting. Uh, this is for me also only a five star. I think the away jersey, um, it makes sense to have a, this bright colored one because the home home jersey is so much red. But then again, um, contrast is probably a little, a little bit, a bit, a bit, a bit of an issue. It tries to do what uh, the jersey that's behind me uh, probably tried to do, get a very adventurous pattern. However, the green and the reddish, yeah, and then a bit of a... Navy. I think they're going a little bit too far. I'm sure there are people out there that they will like that, but it's to me very similar to the one that we had last last season with the daily paper stuff. So uh, again, I think it's a not a bad looking jersey, but it's not one that excites me. I actually want to go six here, on the, on, on, honestly. And potentially the most exciting, but uh, no, no, really is the last one. It's the third jersey in all black with this weird diamond pattern in there. It looks lot more like a, yeah, maybe diamonds need to be mined, blah, blah, blah. Makes sense historically. Honestly, also doesn't cut it, cut it for, for me. I'm sorry. Uh, I usually, Ajax jerseys are some of the most class jerseys out there. This season, I think Ajax is a little bit of a letdown if I'm honest. A letdown I think is also how I would probably de describe this Brighton home jersey. Um, the blue raglan sleeves are right, but I don't like this half-half stripe pattern. It just looks odd to me. Uh, it also with the thick blue shoulders, such thin striping. I think thicker striping if you have the big raglan rag sleeves is much, much better. And then the huge box for the American Express. When you just could outline the American Express, I think you would get a much better uh, pattern out of it. Yes, I see we've done it here. But here you see the broad stripes make it a whole lot better, if I would say. Also, I'm not sure about the sleeve cuffs. This is also a, a kind of a disappointing jer uh, uh, jersey. I'm going to go four stars with this one as well. They have issued a European uh, jersey, which is probably more in a way jersey. has had has, has abused more, more away. Um, I actually like the idea. You have the, uh, the palace on the bottom so tall. this is cool to have a local la landmark it is whiter than fades into this uh turquoise personally i probably would prefer it a little bit more fading into in, into blue it also doesn't really quite fit the crest is now all black um but i like the idea there i actually was considering this jersey uh, this is this jersey they're doing something nice but it's not the greatest jerseys i'm gonna go uh with with a six so you see as hipster as this group is the jerseys are not that great the regular third jersey, though, I think, yes, it looks as solo, which fits with the Serbia as coach. But this one is actually a winner. Here you see, broader stripes, it's very much in the same vein as the last season's home jer uh, jersey with the blue white stripes with the yellow in, in between. This actually does work. And it works quite well, I have, to, I have to say. This is a really cool looking jersey. Probably the best Brighton away jersey that I've ever seen. Um... Again, I don't know about the traditional Brighton away colors. Maybe you can drop a line, 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 line below. But this one, I would go. Mm, I will go seven because of, 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 of the box. But if the striping was carried carry through, I think I would go an eight. Brighton also carries over the third jersey from last season. Um, or the away jersey from last season, the third, third jersey. Not a great one. 
I would say it's a four star. Uh, and let's keep it at that. The last one is the team that I'm wearing, which is OM. OM home jersey by Puma. Actually, I have to say, class, I mean, after the slightly darker blue, we are back with the light blue, which I know is not a traditional OM color, but I actually really prefer it because uh, I grew up with OM wearing the light, the blue and white. I have to say, this one looks really cool. Um, I like the color as everything about it is quite nice. It is Puma, so it's not perfect, but it's quite nice. Look, there's also this pattern in there. The sponsor probably could use a slightly light, lighter color as well. But uh, it's probably one of the better jerseys in this group. I'm going to go seven with this home jersey. The away jersey does something in there. First off, the color doesn't go all, all around, with, which is what bugs me. But the darker blue with a little bit of white lines in there. Not sure what the white lines are supposed to seem so simple, but it makes it interesting. I think it's also a really, really nice shirt. I This color combination is always pleasing me. It's not the best Marseille ever dark blue jersey. I think the last seasons have been better, but this is quite nice. I'm also going to say when I think this, 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 this one's in a way a winner. And then, like Olympiacos, I don't know what this last jersey should do. It's very flamey, very blah, blah, blah. I'm not sold on this one at all. I'm going to give it the same grade as the Olympiacos one with three. And we are done. Please let, let me know which jersey in here you did like, where you agree and disagree with me. Please leave a comment below. And I will talk to you soon with parts two, three and four. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.